Hey guys, thank you so much for all the comments in the last video and checking out that content. You know, I've got a lot of stuff to share, but if I don't have anyone to share it with, well, what do I got? So thank you guys very, very much for checking that out and making some of those comments. Uh, if you liked it, good news, I've got more. So I'm here to share a couple more concepts with you uh, and also to say there are some more opportunities to see me coming around the corner. I don't know exactly when, but you're going to be able to see me on a consistent basis. So I do want to share that with you as well. For right now, I've got some more concepts to share with you. Let's go ahead and take a look. I'm going to do something a little bit more jazzy here. I'll go ahead and play this idea. It's a bebop idea that's been around for a long time. It's a must know. I mean, you have to know it. And I'll show you all the different ways you can apply it. The easiest one, those six notes. A, B flat, F sharp, A, okay? So three, four, two, three fingers, right? Right next to each other. A, B flat, F sharp, A. A flat, B flat, F sharp, A, and then G, D. Got it, we do it up here, A, B flat, F sharp, A, G, D. Now, I don't have a chord in my left hand, so let me show you some different ways you can use it. I use it over G minor 6, which is that chord. You can use it over a minor too. G minor, so in my left hand I have F, A, B flat, D. So obviously your bass player would be playing the G or you can always play the G. Three things in your left hand, right? I'm giving you guys more content, I don't believe it. All right, look, open fit, G and D, works. Or just a G, this is a G minor nine actually, or an open seven. So hit some type of G, G and D, G and G, G alone, G and F, which makes that dominant seven. Left hand voicing I'm using is F, A, B flat, D. F, A, B flat, D. Or just F, B flat, D. If you take the F down to E, that's G minor six. So G minor seven, remember, in that first video I did F minor seven, you can always go up in half steps. That is now G minor seven. G minor six means you take that flat seven and you take it down that half step. That's six. In the inversion, this was G minor seven. If I take that F down with the G still in the bass, or your bass player is playing it, okay? So really, I, I'm focusing on the right hand idea for you guys right now. Got it? Now, that idea, how many other things can it be used over? E half diminished. There is a root position half diminished chord, which is a minor seven chord and a flat five. So E, G, B flat, D is E half diminished or E minor seven flat five. But again, this is just to sort of show you because of this interval, you can't play the open fifth. It's going to clash. You're going to get that sound. So just hit an E. But the idea is just to show you G minor or G6. Just a little bit different, right? Works over half diminished. Or minor 7 flat 5, same thing. Just hit the root only. Now, this same voicing right here also is a C dominant 7th. It's a 9. It's a C9 chord. The 9 is just one up from the octave. So 3, 7, 9. 
for E B flat D, right? So that's G6. It's E half diminished or minor 7 flat 5. It's C9. This is just to show you quickly the different things you can use under it. It's the same voicing. So it's to show you that when I teach concepts, I give you as many ways to do it and try to explain it to you if you want to know exactly what's going on. Okay, so it works over those three. It also could work over a highly altered F sharp chord. So that's F sharp seven. So it's a sharp five. Here's, right, a fifth interval is a five. Take it up a half step and that gets, that's called sharp, right? So here's your seventh and your third. Third, seventh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, flat seven. I'm just moving the notes up. Three and seven are always your friends in jazz. So E, B flat, D, same voicing as before. Remember, we can have G minor. G minor 6, E half diminished, C7, 9. Look how much I'm giving you guys. And this altered dominant 7. So this goes to show you, once you learn one thing from me, all the different ways you can apply it. And that's what's missing from a lot of education, is it gets limited because people only know one way. Now you know five ways. Now I want to continue this lick, and I'll show you one more. To continue the lick, I want you to hit B flat and G at the bottom. A, B flat, F sharp, A, G, D, B flat, G. So that's two measures. One, a two, a three, a four. It's one, one full measure, not two. So one, a two, a three, a four, a, and then new measure. I'm going to add that. Okay, so it all depends on the bass note what this sounds like. You can sub a lot of these chords kind of for each other too because they're sort of the same things. It's that bass note in jazz that gives you that variety. You have one lick, all these different ways to do it. Okay, so to finish up this lick, so one, a two, a three, a four, a one measure. And I added the B flat and the G. Now I want A and C on your second and fourth fingers and G and B flat on your one and three. So just those together. Break it down, guys. Always, slowest you can do it is the quickest you're gonna learn it. Then you speed it up, not the other way around. A, C, two and four for your fingers. G, B flat, one and three. Okay. G minor six. C seven nine. You can always use the bottom of licks too. There's a lot of different ways to do it, but that's the first one. A B flat, F sharp, A G D. Flat, G, and then the thirds, A and C, G and B flat. The other lick I want to show you that I consider integral to your playing, any, anyone who plays jazz that's more than competent, uh, I call it a sharp nine lick or a 13 lick. And this guy's quick. Okay? A flat, C, excuse me, E flat, C, A flat, E. So E flat, C, A flat, E, E flat, D flat, okay? E flat, C, A flat, E, E flat, D flat. No one taught me this. I had to get this off of, you know, off of listening to a ton of jazz. So here it is for you guys. E flat, C, A flat, E, E flat, D flat. So this is C7 sharp nine. Okay, E, B flat, E flat. Remember we had with this lick, this is the nine. Here's the sharp nine. Okay, 
The other thing, you can change the rhythm. What gives you variety, too, also is rhythm. And that's kind of hard to teach. It's easier to take a concept and throw it at you. It's harder to show 100 different ways of doing something. But how about this way? One, two, and a three, up. Uh. Two and a three, up. Uh. If you can't clap it, you can't play it. Or if you can't say it, or you can't hear it, right, you can't play it. So one, two, and a three, up. Uh. One, two, and a three, a uh, four, one. One, two, and a three, a uh, four, one. Okay? So E flat, C, B flat, E, E flat, D flat, F major seven, F, E, So it also works over F sharp 13, and that's the last thing to show you. So F sharp E and B flat, or just E and B flat if your bass note is F sharp instead of C. And I will show you probably later on at some point why that's the case. For now, here's two ways for this lick, E flat C, A flat E. E flat, D flat, and finish it with some type of F major. If we knew this from the first lick, you can take it all the way up, right? Now this is the same thing on F. So always combine things, and I'm always going to alert you to those. So I hope you enjoyed these two licks. Here they are one last time. Or so guys, that's it for these two licks. What I want to share with you is number one, thank you very much. I, I love having this material to share with you. And number two, that this is the tip of the iceberg. That's sort of my surprise after these licks. Uh, I'm really, really excited. I took my first summer off from medical school when a lot of people do medically related things, and I recorded as much content as possible because I have so much to share with you guys. So I want to let you know right around the corner that's coming to check your email, and that's going to be, you know, if you feel that this is something that's going to help you, and, and I think it would help anybody and make you sound great, stay tuned for that because this is an opportunity to work with me on an ongoing and very regular basis. Um, unlike anything we've ever offered before with jazz content. Um, I'm serious about it because i got a lot of things to say, but I'm very, very excited about it as well. Please leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you guys as always. Uh, check your email. There's more to come shortly. And remember, if you can hear it, you can play it.